most of us have written about it, but if you would tell us just a little bit summary about what it is. The, the idea is we need to start the discussion. The delay, uh, the delay is, is uh, bunching us up against the uh, the time constraints. Uh, it's interesting that the state is appealing to the Supreme Court because they say they don't have time. We do have time. We have three weeks that we can get through. I think February 3rd is uh, the date when we have some problems with uh, deadlines. But this is a start, and I wanted to get it out there for the public to take a look at it. Um, you know, there's all kinds of variations, but this one takes in zero variance. It's compact. Uh, it'll, it'll withstand any court decision on that or court challenge. It also doesn't pit um, the incumbents against each other in any way or they don't live in each other's district. Uh, also like communities. I mean, even with the second, that's probably more compact than it's ever been. Theoretically, you can drive 79 up to Harrison, over on 50 in Parkersburg and down to Charleston and someone representing that district could probably uh, cover the entire district and still be home for dinner that evening. Um, so uh, as far as the northern panhandle, you have the two panhandles in north central West Virginia and the south is, uh, has changed very little except for a portion of Randolph. So the idea is that we need to move forward. Um, we don't have, I mean we do have a time constraint but it's not impossible for us to uh, pass something and I think it's important for us to do this, get this out of the way so we can focus on more uh, more or other issues that are of concern. Slightly different from the more perfect plan, it unsplits Taylor and puts that little Judd into Randolph. What, what was the reasoning behind those well, minor Well Taylor changes? and Randolph, you needed to split a county. The reason why it looks the way it is is we took it downstairs and the redistricting office took what the precincts had already been formed in those two counties. So if we pass this map, it'll be relatively a short, uh, minimum impact where those counties wouldn't have to go through redistricting all over again. Now, what happens to this plan uh, if the stay goes through? Well, um, the stay is only an indication that that um, you know there could be an appeal. Uh, then the battle continues for the next year because once appeal goes, you have the battle in the Supreme Court. Um, I don't know. It depends on what the court says as in regards to the stay. But uh, any stay would only doesn't mean a victory uh, for the state. It only means that the court's willing to hear appeal. Um, so this thing will just keep on going, and we'll still be in a posture where we'd have what the lower, what the district court says unconstitutional and the Supreme Court's waiting to hear arguments. However, um, I don't suspect the stay will be granted because the state's whole defense or argument is that we don't have time to do it, and that's false. We do have time to do it. I mean, if you read their stay, their, their request for stay, is they're saying we're running out of time, we don't have much time. Well, that's, that's not true, but we have three weeks of, a, of an eight-week uh, session where we can get this thing done, and we can get it done, we can get it done right. I haven't seen the committee references. Does this go back before the uh, redistricting committee? Or is yes. It just, okay. There's a select committee on redistricting. Okay. Yeah. And then which, the full body, or does it go through the judiciary? No, it just goes the full body at that point. Yeah. Same as we did before. Yeah. Uh, and hopefully before it comes to the full body, we've developed consensus on it. When do you anticipate taking it up in committee? Uh, I don't know. Uh, the the uh, president uh, has asked me uh, to um, to hold off until um, until a later date. So it will be a discussion with the president when the uh, committee will meet. I believe there's some other plans that are going to be introduced. And so I want to make sure that we make sure the public has plenty of time to look at it and other plans be presented.